Hey there, it's Amanda with the Pretty House team of Charles Ruttenberg Realty popping on for my 30 days, 30 questions, 30 seconds. Um, I bet anybody could have guessed what today's question and answer would be. Why did Zillow stop buying houses? Why did they need to announce it to everybody? Okay, so first of all, why does Zillow buy houses? Money. They buy houses to make money. They flip houses. So the trick with flipping houses is you have to find a house that needs a little bit of work, buy it cheap, put a little bit of work into it, turn around, flip it, make a profit. Do it again and again and again and again and again. However, in the current situation with our current market, prices... There's no money there. So for example, you find a house that needs a little bit of work. If you go down the street and find a renovated house, they're not selling for that much more. So the profit isn't there. So if you're an investor, heads up, if Zillow stops buying houses, that's an indication to you that the deals might not be out there right now. So that's one of the reasons they stopped buying houses. The second reason they stopped buying houses um, is a labor shortage. So when you buy a house that needs repairs, you're gonna have to have laborers to do the repairs. So if you can't find cheap labor, then you're going to have to pay a living wage. And if you can't afford a living wage because you can't flip the house with and make money off of it, then you're probably not going to want to flip that house at all. So first reason was there was no money in flipping for Zillow. The second reason was there was a labor shortage or there is a labor shortage. So until uh, Zillow can get to a place where they can pay laborers what they're willing to work for or there's more laborers in the workforce, Zillow doesn't have laborers to fix the houses that they don't have laborers to fix the houses, they can't flip the houses. Um, do I think this is like a red flag of market changes? No, I think that Zillow probably bit off more than they could chew. I mean, they bought 3,800 houses in the second quarter of this year. And I think a lot of times their Zestimate is off. Um, I've had sellers that have called me and said, holy moly, my Zestimate is like $700,000. Nothing in this neighborhood has sold for more than six. And I will say to those sellers, take the money and run. Because sometimes the Zestimate will pull comps that aren't really real comps and they're wrong. So take advantage of that, of that error. Um, and then also the thing that may have caused Zillow to stop is that their stock was down 27% this year. So that might've had something to do with it. Now, don't freak out. Yes, you can still sell your house to some private equity firm. Open door, offer pad, Redfin, even Mark Spain. No, he's not your friendly neighborhood realtor. They're all still buying houses. Will they stop? I don't know. Um, what is the advantage of selling to one of those type of companies, those I buyer, as they call them, uh, supposedly you get to do less. You get to sell for a little less, but you get to do less. Well, in this market, you don't need that. In this market, you can do less and make more. So right now, it doesn't make sense to use one of those I buyer companies. And there's other big, huge real estate companies in town that will also offer you that type of situation, but they're not gonna pay you fair market value. And in a market where you can actually sell for more than market value, it doesn't make sense to sell to an I buyer. So that is my 30 questions. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm never going to get it wrong, right? 30 days, 30 questions, 30 seconds. I hope it was helpful to you. I hope it was insightful to you. And I hope that I see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.